Jen is taking, taking notes during Ginny's speech and Juanita's, but not her own. She decides she better talk until someone takes a note. Um, um, Meredith? And you don't have to fix this now, but it's something you need to think about so you start to come um, with us tomorrow, judges. Thursday. Um, judges, Melvina, Raymond, the voice wants you. Musicians, fellow contestants, ladies and gentlemen, nothing yet. Um, <laughs> I laugh because that, of course, was backwards. <laughs> you have to look at them to see there's nothing yet. Okay. Nothing yet. Um, well, a lot of girls are really uneasy or ashamed about being beautiful, you know? I think I'm unique because I love it. I really do. I work hard at it. I don't think beauty pageants are silly like some of the other girls who are just here for money, travel, or just the heck of it. I think I'm the most beautiful girl in Hanford, and I'm here to prove it. People are applauding her. She's fired up. People put down beauty as being unimportant, but a lot of people also put down money, education, morals, or what have you. Not me. I'm, people are always putting down what they don't have. Not me. I'm just here to amaze and delight you with what I do have. I just wish I was back in my bathing suit. <laughs> so obviously you have to end that with, I just wish I was back in my bathing suit, you have to be turning in and see, ah, he's writing so I can quit. I just wish I was back in my bathing suit. She sees Julie's graffiti taking a note, so she stops. The note is for Raymond Montague. It says, how can I learn anything from these pure uh, questions? What happened to Carmen Miranda? Thank you, Meredith. I love that one. Our next question is for Toby Kincaid. And don't come to the mic, come straight down. Toby, just come to the side of the mic a little bit. You don't have to come here. Yeah. My name is Ricard Mark TK. The question on it will be, of all the cities you have visited in California, which do you like the best and why? Of all the cities you have visited in California, which do you like the best and why? Toby assumes an attitude of spontaneous, poised, Surprise. See, you're making, first of all, you're, you're doing three things. You're not doing yeah. a clear thing. You're kind of going, ah. Okay. Also, yeah. pace-wise, you're, you're waiting a beat before you speak, and it needs to come right on top of her line. Okay. Which do you like the most and why? Toby assumes you know, I'm all ready for this, and so I'm going to show him surprise. Ah. Okay. Be a single. Ah. Okay. Do it again. All right, yeah, because last time you told me, uh, like, I was doing them, I was doing all three, but I was doing it, like, one at a time, and I thought, like, that you meant condense it more. So, just one, one face. Yeah, because it's okay. still not condensed. Yeah, okay. Ask her the question again, Miss Hoedown Lady. <laughs> of all the cities you have visited in California, which do you like the best and why? Toby assumes an attitude of spontaneous, poised, surprise. That's the way it needs to be, something like that. But your whole body has to freeze. Yes, exactly. Exactly, that was good. Do that again. And then it's your line, right? Yeah, see, there's a pause. All right, here, I'll go over that. All right, I don't mean to work pace tonight. I just need to give you that example of where it needs to be. You guys got all solving stuff by Thursday, because after Thursday, then I'll have to work. And why? Toby assumes a loser. <laughs> of all the cities you have visited in California, which do you like the best? And why Toby assumes an attitude of spontaneous, poised surprise. Sometimes I ask myself straight out, am I an unprincipled man? What would I do, I ask myself, to see Toby Kincaid win this pageant? I'm glad you asked that, Malvina. It's a fascinating question. Obviously, I would do a few unsportsmanlike things, tamper with the questions to name one. Uh, uh, I'm glad to have the opportunity to answer it, if I may, a moment to collect my thoughts. So then I test myself further. Introspection. Would I do more, say, would I arrange to have a high heel sawed halfway through? I might. What's the stop? 
Besides, at my age, I can't afford to waste an opportunity. God has been kind to me, Malvina, and my parents have been generous. So I have been able to travel quite a bit for a girl my age, even outside of California, to places like Ensenada and Lake Tahoe. But I wouldn't say I'm an unprincipled man. I wouldn't really hurt one of these girls for anything, unless, of course, it was them or me. I am... I am blessed. I'm blessed to have, su have visited such interesting and exotic places. But to, be, but to be honest, Hamford's got them all beat. There are bursts of applause. A burst of applause, yes. Burst of applause. A few put their hands over their mouth and snicker. I know a lot of people up in San Francisco think we're hicks down here. They're around the booze for San Francisco. But can they go outside and get a breath of good air? Can they get back in without unlocking two doors and talking over an intercom? When was the last time they saw a genuine horse to <laughs> No, I'll stick with Hamford. To me, the only thing better than being in Hamford is telling people in other cities about Hamford. That was a very good answer. Roberta couldn't swear to it, but did she detect a hint of insincerity? Amanda, what's my life? The phrase a lot of people up in. Oh, the phrase a lot of people up in. Think where Hicks never fails to rouse Hamfordites of all ages to a frenzy. There's no telling how many football games it's won for Hamford High. It's grotesque. Thank you, Toby. Thank you all. Still, Toby's speech.